What is up, guys? It is Connor here, bringing you a 42-1 PKP Pechenegg Moab on lockdown. And this Pechenegg is only like a level 5 or something in this game. 3 or 5 or something like that. All I had was a red dot sight for it. But anyways, we went ta we went to town. I couldn't even talk. And we got ourselves a pretty nice Moab gameplay. Now, I was playing with a ton of friends this game, guys. We got, like, Corey's in there, Brian, Logan, of course, some Ethan, and Brock was in there, and maybe Riley, I believe. I'm not really positive on this, but they're all friends I know in real life. We were just having fun, and we decided, you know what, let's just do a little bit of, like, uh, let's see if we can just control this map a little bit, like, kind of keep them pinned down, get two flags, see if we can win the games, and just basically just hold them down. So that's what we were doing in this game, and I was, my job was to watch down, the, not let them come out of this hallway, and, like, get out of their, get out this direction, and I had Corey sitting down on the stairs next to me, and he was just, he was watching, um, making sure no one came up behind me, so it was all, it was pretty good. We worked out, obviously, it worked out really, really well, and we haven't, we've only, we only did spawn trapping for, like, one weekend. It's not really spawn trapping, I guess, because they're not just spawning in front of us, we're, like, knifing them the entire time, because that, that, yeah, that doesn't, <laughs> oh, no, that's kind of frustrating. This, I guess, could be frustrating, but basically, we were just holding them back in their spawn, we were protecting our areas, and it worked out really, really well, so if you guys don't like this, I'm sorry, it's a different style gameplay, it's definitely probably the most campy I've ever played before, but it, were, it worked out really well, obviously, so hopefully you don't hate it, and anyways, let's get into what I was going to talk about today, today I'm talking about what is happiness, what for you guys defines happiness, and I, I came across, is, uh, let, me, let me start from the beginning here. With, um, is money, does money make you happy? Is it fame that pr um, produces happiness? Um, wealth, I already said. Is it having a ton of friends? Is it being popular? Is it having a great family, um, great family life, a great wife, great kids? Is it, you know, being a Christian and having God on your side? Is it being really great at a sport and, like, being able to go pro, maybe? Or, I mean, what, what makes happiness for you? Or is it being able to work all the time and create a successful company and have lots of people working under under you. I mean, there's a lot of things that can produce happiness for your different people. Is it video games that give you happiness? That's pro probably not a good thing if you get your happiness from video games, but uh, it's whatever. If that's what you like, then that's what you like. If that can produce your all-time happiness. Now, what I read, I read something that was um, really quite, it, it really struck me. I thought that was really great saying. It said, the emotion of happiness is not simply caused by entertaining your whims. And now whims are like an obstacle or something that gets in the way of your happiness. So the emotion of happiness is not simply finding out how to um, how to jump over those hurdles that make you not happy and get right past them. Happiness is not merely living a life by accumulating moments of pleasure. Happiness is a long-lasting, enduring enjoyment of life. It, hold on, let me say that. I don't know if you could hear that right. Uh, I was kind of I was kind of nasally on that one, you know what I'm saying? I was doing one of these things. But anyways, it says happiness is a long-lasting enduring enjoyment of life. It is being it is being in love with living. It is your award for achieving a good character and personal rationale values in life. Some important values are a productive career, romance, friendship and hobbies. So one thing so basically what they're saying here is happiness happiness oh my goodness I can't even talk happiness is not the satisfaction of whatever um, uh, irrational wishes I guess you could say that you might attempt to enjoy happiness is a state of joy that where you're always happy it's a joy with without any penalty or without any guilt so okay hold on I'm talking really loud sorry <laughs> happiness is basically you're being you're always not you it's not saying that you can't get mad and angry sometimes but it's that you are generally happy in life and you're not happy with something that is illegal or that you have a sense of guilt about or that you could get in trouble over which I thought was really important so some people might think oh yeah I find uh, happiness out you know smoking weed and getting high and getting drunk and going to parties and all that stuff, you know, living the Jersey Shore life, yeah, fist pump, um, but no, that's, that's not truly happy, I mean, have you seen, like, Snooki? she's like this nice orange color, um, she can't even walk upstairs anymore, I don't think, because she's, like, always drunk, 
And that's that's not happiness. They get pulled over for DUIs. They get in trouble for public intoxication. Not stuff they show you on the show. If you do some background research, I mean DUIs. Uh, they probably spent some jail time, um, but I mean they're famous, so they can just pay their pay pay their bail out. But I mean DUIs and all that stuff. That's the same with um, parting. I mean. You can't be happy all the time while partying when you've got that guilt in the back of your mind saying, ooh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, or maybe my parents don't want me to do this, or ooh, I could get, if I get caught, I'm going to get in trouble with the law. That's just one thing that you, um, it can't produce all, always being happy. Now, money, money is another thing that some people, oh yeah, more money I had, the happier I'm going to be. But, I mean, how many people have we seen that are just rich and famous? I mean, actresses, actors all the time I mean what's his face Charlie Sheen went off the freaking wall I mean what the heck was he doing and he had money fame fortune he had that good stuff but he just went off the wall Lindsay Lohan Britney Spears shaved her freaking head um, now I'm not one for bald ladies maybe you like bald ladies like Wiz Khalifa's getting married to some bald lady maybe you're one of those guys but I'm not a bald lady kind of guy I want a lady with more hair than I have so so I mean that's fame and fortune. We have seen it do so many terrible things. Now, we've also seen that fame and fortune do wonderful things. So, I mean, like Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey, they give away their money all the time. Bill Gates gives, <coughs> sorry, gives away money all the time to people. So, I mean, there's good things that come out of money, but money cannot be your only source of happiness. You cannot find happiness in the bottom of an alcohol bottle, at the end of a joint, or... um out there just making millions of dollars and that's all you're doing you're just making money making money making money you can't that's that is my my opinion is not how you can find happiness happiness I mean what about fame and fortune or fame too you may say which was the same with that but I mean how many football players specifically have we just recently seen commit suicide now they say it could have something to do with like um, getting concussions and stuff, but I mean, suicide's a choice. I mean, no matter what, suicide's a choice. And they made that choice to shoot themselves and kill themselves. I mean, there have been tons of people. They had everything. They had children, families, money, Super Bowl rings. They were famous. They had people wearing their jerseys, and that didn't produce them happiness. That did not give them the all-time enjoyment of being happy all the time. So you got to kind of think about what what is what makes you happy. What is gonna present you the happiness now happiness having a good career is I mean that's probably pretty important to being happy I would think having a good career but most one of some of the most important things is having a great family having a good wife good kids good parents um, having a good relationship with the good family members and not really and kind of separating yourself from the one that are bad influence like maybe I don't mean to offend anyone at all but maybe like your dad's like an alcoholic or something he's just not a good person and or your brother has gone down the wrong path or something I mean my brother did that my brother has spent time in jail and I mean he has not been living a good life but he's trying to turn around now which is great but I mean we separated ourselves from him and I've been perfectly happy I mean I'm a happy guy right now what can I say I'm a happy happy man yeah <laughs> so that's one thing and I think personally I know you guys are like oh we saw this one coming Personally, I think God, having God is the key to happiness. A great family, I mean, just, now, life's not perfect in God, I mean, obviously. And I'm not throwing anything at you whatsoever. This is my personal opinion. And you guys all know that. But having God has really been a great key to happiness. Because when you go find a great Christian friend, or like um, a great Christian minister, like a pastor, that and good great friends in the youth group or whatever, I mean, those are friends that you can be with for a long time. You guys can all hold each other accountable to not be doing anything that you have the guilt in the back of your mind, or that you could be getting in trouble for. You guys keep each other accountable, and you always keep each other doing what is morally right. And that is just one way to be happy. If you're always doing what is not, well, if you're doing what is right and you don't have the chance of getting in trouble, you can't, how can you not be happy? I mean, there's no way that that could really backfire on you. I mean, that is just my opinion. A good, a good career always helps and a great family, great friends and God. I mean, you, you just can't go wrong there. The friends, family, God, I just said all that. I mean, you just can't go wrong. I already said that too. Well, I just went past my time. See you guys later.